look seem to be our side is on the roll and more than likely the way we do things just period and you and if you like us you know how things go in your life still ain't came and got that damn thing but anyway uh, you know, it's usually a permanent change. These are going to be permanent changes because one, we don't lie. Because we know what happens when you lie. You got to lie to cover up. It gets deeper and deeper. It's just too much work. I just say it all the time. You know, by the time you was in high school, I've been figured it out. But by the time I was in high school, you know, I would just talk about it. Like, you know, especially like I said, in the 80s and 90s, you know, before things started coming down around the country in the in the mid 90s but like in 91 92 you know niggas could get killed for lies and shit like that and over a lie you know like i said to them it was oh, oh just senseless violence and, you know i i just really don't give a fuck what, what democrats think you know somebody like jesse jackson or al sharpton or whoever else the local city leaders but, uh, you know, hey, you just got to come. It, it wasn't just from real life. It was from movies. You know, the little made-for-TV movies that would come on or something. You got to lie. You know, or fucking Matlock or whatever. Seriously, I used to watch this shit. It'd be like, you got to lie on lie and lie. And I always got to come do more lies to cover up the lies. And that's why it don't work. And, you know, like with the Democrats in the New World Order across the globe, you know, like Justin Trudeau in uh, Canada doing all that crazy shit. And the communists in China, you know, they got all their people locked up, still quarantined, but they they got it worse. And then they throw away their food. They tell this lie, they got to keep going and keep going and keep going. And, you know, it's too many of us, no matter what race, white, black, you know, we were raised that we have freedom. And so you, they couldn't buy off enough people because some of us, most of us on our side, you couldn't buy us. It's just like, nah, I don't, I don't care. Even if you're gonna let me be free, you know, like I said, like the Gestapo or whatever over in Russia, the old Russia, you know, communist days, USSR. You know, I don't want to be, there. there's no fun to, to be the only, you know, part of a group. That, that's when only lame people want to be part of something that nobody else can be part of. It's no fun. You know, you, you got like a government vehicle with fancy and you gotta wear a uniform every day, you know, like a military uniform, like you crazy. And the rest of the country, you know, they don't even have vehicles. They gotta stand in bread lines and shit. It's no fun. You know, when I ride by and, uh, and my car is clean or I buy a new car, you know that, you know, you like the feeling that people get because it look like people you inspiring people to do the same. Not not get jealous. That's what we always felt. You always felt like that in school. You had some new clothes or a new haircut or jewelry, new shoes, you know. You didn't feel like, yeah, they hate me, da da da, da. It's like, yeah, you know, you inspiring people. You know, you didn't use that word inspiring. I don't like inspiring. It's more of that, that fake Democrat shit, you know, celebrity. Oh, man, they want to inspire, you know. But, uh, yeah, this morning, I already had, you know, I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I wanted to wait some more, but, you know, you couldn't, you know, it's just so, you see what happens when we, now when we lost, we didn't do all this, we said facts, just, you know, nobody got mad, though. Nobody was, oh, Trump lost, we gotta do this and that. Nobody did none of that shit. You know, nobody was mad. I mean, nobody was, you know, we were more worried about the country and the future. You know, seriously, you know, you think about your children and grandchildren, this shit's gonna be fucked up forever. These motherfuckers can steal an election. You know, you, you figured they can steal local elections, but, and nobody can do it. And it's like, nobody wants to do anything. Because seriously, that's what I was thinking about. I'm like, you got to have some of these generals. They got to care about, about their children, their grandchildren. I'm like, you got to be somebody, some of them that's on our side. You know, but they, like, they, they wasn't doing anything. And we ain't talking about no insurrection or, or, or 
all that stupid shit. We know what their side doing the insurrection and shit. But you know, with, with uh, nobody was stupid enough to believe that that. First of all, the little few guys that did walk in and they got pictures that the 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 few Capitol police that was there let the people in, you know, show the hey, come on in. They didn't bring it in. It's like they didn't do anything. The guy walked around and sat down at the desk. And they tell him, oh, we're so scared, insurrection. And then, and then everybody's like, if, okay, if y'all so on top of things and y'all knew this was happening because all the Trump supporters were crazy, and, you know, they would believe in Trump and his lies that the, you know, air quotes, that the election was stolen. Uh, why wouldn't you have security? That's common sense. Like I said, a private in the military knows, not because you're planning anything, but you know something coming up. Shit, you know you're going to be on detail. You know you're going to be on ones to pick for detail. Or it's a, it's a good chance. You know, you might not get chosen, but you got Private Johnson and Private Smith and such and such. Y'all know, shit, next week they got that big parade or whatever. Or next week, this and that coming up. That's what I'm saying. Y'all supposed to be so competent in the adults, air quotes. The adults, we're the adults. The Democrats, I was talking about they're the adults. Why in the fuck wouldn't an adult know if it was, because you know there was no fucking danger, because you're lying like children. Remember, and then they, so anyway, and like I said, uh, the next day, you know, standing in there, I was in, in, inside my house, whatever, right here. It was November 7th, 2020, and like I said, a uh, spirit just came over me from God. Not just, you know, not like these witches out here. You know, the, the Democrats, and they love witchcraft. Uh, just said, uh, you know, you survived the 90s and the 80s and, you know, the 70s as a baby. <laughs> no, seriously, you had to... Follow directions, really, as a baby. What, what as a baby? Yeah, I remember, especially back then, you know, we didn't have all that safety stuff. You know, shit. You just got taught not to stick an electric uh, fork in the side. I remember that. <laughs> remember that. That's why I was surprised when they started, in, by the 80s, making them things safety, or the 90s, rather. I think I was a teenager. I'm like, I remember <laughs> being told not to stick no fork in the goddamn socket. It really, I, I must not have been old enough to understand why. Just, yeah, I know I'm getting anything you learn from the small stuff, the stuff you didn't do, or even just saying, saying smart words. You know, you get your lip, get a back of head to the mouth. It don't hurt. It just surprises you. It just shocks you and shuts you up. <laughs> like, pow. Oh, what'd I say? Oop, don't do that no more. You know. But anyway. So these idiots, the adults, but see, like I've been said, that's why they did all that shit. They wanted to, to make, somebody thought they were smart. And technically it is smart, but it wasn't as smart as a plan to, to, to overtake a country by making all the kids stupid and, you know, grow up. They're going to grow up to be, you know, even the smart kids, they're going to grow up to think, you know, they never heard the word no. You know, they and, and literally they haven't. That's they're the ones. You know, college kids. No, there's racism. No, you know, white college kids and all. Listen, that. No, we gotta change it. You don't know what I've been through, and they haven't been through anything. It's just basically finally someone started telling them no because they're not at home no more. You know, they 18 and in college, <laughs> but uh, at the college, the college is brainwashing them more. It's just you know, probably around around town and shit in real life now that they got real life consequences is like well this is this must be the patriarchy yeah that's what they're talking about you know and basically it's just people the way you're supposed to behave common courtesy they think you know they, they think there's some kind of patriarchy or slavery or you know white supremacy <laughs> stupid bitches like no you just brought up as a horrible little person you know what i'm saying that's why you're a horrible human being but so but yeah it, yesterday was funny as hell they, they got real videos of the, all the folks that leave it twitter and nobody heard even heard of them in the first place they, they might have had maybe a million followers and, and it, we're like what who, who? but they, they, i'm leaving see that's why we're leaving. Okay, nobody cares. There'll probably be more people back on Twitter 
now that Elon didn't bought it. They 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 were crying and mad and it, it, it's just fucking hilarious. But let me start over.